In this real short, I'm just going to just going to touch on the philosophies behind Ruby on Rails. And there's two main philosophies that we're going to talk about in this video. The first one is dry, which is don't repeat yourself, and the second one is convention over configuration. Dry basically means that only one piece of code should exist in your web application without any duplication. If you're finding that you're duplicating code, then you're not doing something quite right with regards to Rails and the philosophy behind Rails. And an example of that is if you find, an, say, a little bit of code that generates, say, a list out of your database, and you're repeating that code in different views, you're probably better off creating a sub-view or a component, which we'll show in later videos, so that you're not duplicating that code. And, and your savings in doing this are that when it comes to maintainability, you only got one place to change that code. If someone wants to say, hey, let's add this particular field to this list, you go to one place, add the code, and you're done. Otherwise, if you have it in multiple places, you're going to have to hunt around to all those different places and change that little bit of code. The way that you, you make dry work is following the MVC paradigm, which is model view controller, pretty closely because using MVC, it'll tell you where your code needs to go. If you have view code, code that generates your HTML and your JavaScripts that sets colors or pulls up graphics or those types of things, that needs to go into your view files. If you have code that's manipulating your data, read calculating some stuff based on the data, generating new views, routing users to different pages. That's a controller function, and that code should go into a controller file of some type. And finally, you have your model, which is your description of your database models, of your tables. And those should only be one place where you're putting those things, and that's in your model files. We're going to cover MVC a little bit more in depth in, in other videos, but I wanted to touch on these philosophies here and show how MVC is important in the dry concept. The other major philosophy behind Rails is convention over configuration. And Rails has many default configuration things that as long as you follow the conventions behind them, you will write web applications in, in record time it is easy to override these conventions if you have to uh, follow or take care of, say, a legacy database or some such thing. But in general, if you're creating a web application from scratch, if you follow the conventions, it, it makes your coding very simple. And actually, the amount of code, the number of lines of code, tends to be a lot less than in a similar environment, say, Java or even PHP. And if you go out and look on the web, you can find different comparisons where there's 2,000, 3,000 line Java applications that have been rewritten in Ruby on Rails into several hundred lines or even less in some cases. So convention over configuration, as we go along here, you'll see the different conventions. And if you follow them, they're really going to help out how your web applications function and end up being easy to program. In another video, we'll actually talk about one other aspect of Rails philosophies, and that's the Agile philosophy. So I hope you look for that in other videos.